Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Brandon Bird, man. So I just got done uh, exercising, man. I uh, was actually at a bird refugee um, uh, area. Uh, there was actually a park that's actually is a bird sanctuary, wildlife sanctuary. Uh, didn't know that. Now I know. But, uh, yeah, I was uh, definitely doing a little exploring. But, yeah, I really want to talk about the Supreme Court. Um, you know, Supreme Court is going to hear DACA, um, and I'll think another week or so. So they, they go going to really make their decision if it's valid or not valid. Um, and from the, the last two rulings or subject of the Supreme Court was not, was not very, uh, good. Um, you know, they ruled basically no act on gerrymandering and they refused to even hear the case of the abortion, um, of the, what was going on in Alabama and a few other states, they don't even want to hear, hear the case now, so, that already lets you know that they're really not worrying about abortion, and they're really not worrying about gerrymandering, I think, um, so, you know, I think a vet was trying to explain it, Tone Talk was trying to explain it, I'm gonna give a more simple form of what gerrymander is, even though I think them two did a very superb, um, explain explanation of it. I'm gonna just give a more of a simpler term of it. You know, gerrymander is more of uh, a redistricting, of decreasing uh, a certain segment population that could be a racial group and or whatever religious group, whatever, and decrease their their voting power. Because um, you know, you, you, you know, most of uh, local elections, especially state, um, is more about the popular vote that wins you elections. So basically what they do is they redistrict in those areas and what they do they can they, they can re they could take a city district and they could put and they could say maybe four or five counties, they could turn that to one district. And that one district is even though the city got more people just because of redistricting, it actually decreased the city's uh, voting power because they include more and they kind of decreased certain population signal because they took away and put it to another district. So that's, that's what gerrymandering is. And the uh, Supreme Court basically ruled, uh, ruled not to act on it, said there was nothing, um, they deemed nothing wrong what's going on in North Carolina because that's where this case of gerrymandering really popped up in North Carolina. Um, and there are also just a contest of what's going on in Alabama. Um, they just did refuse to hear it. So it lets you know the Supreme Court is shifting to a very conservative, broad of thinking and more into a Republican uh, lean um, of decisions that the Supreme Court is really, really going. I mean, to the, I mean, so I think of DACA, plus I think the United States, the Thomas Society, they really don't, it's, they really don't look at the ideal of having illegals having the same exact rights as a citizen. Knowing that if you go to their country, their immigration law will prohibit you to become a citizen of that particular country as well. Um, even though some of them are destabilizing, but a lot of corruption as well, a lot of these other countries. Um, but they still have some type of form of immigration enforcement. So you're not going to get those same type of um, uh, benefits. Even though in, in their, in their own, in, even in their own country they're not being treated well. But um, I think my uh, I think in my in my in my uh, in my opinion, you you there's I think a lot of the country I think is not really want to have citizens I mean illegals have the same type of rights. I know a lot of them. Um, you know, to all them talk about a sailor, a solemn, and I talked to, to a lot of people, I said, a solemn is more of 
a country that is more radicalism or something to a total destabilization like in war or in or a radical government or a takeover like a tyranny like tyranny or war that's when you become um that's when you become um, an asylum seeker that's when you can claim asylum um a lot of these countries in south america um uh, not all tend to be mexican as well that means Mexican economy is actually within the Latin, uh, Latin or Spanish um, community is actually is one of the strongest community, strongest economy in there. Uh, but when you got a lot of these other countries, they don't have war. Now Salvador um, was in Christ the war. A lot of them had to claim asylum, or you have Cuba that have, that, that have a quote. Communism, uh, communist uh, government, they claim uh, asylum uh, status. Um, you had a lot of these, like in Doris, you had a lot of these countries that used to be in war, used to claim asylum uh, status. But the, a lot of the countries is not in war, or they, they, a lot of these countries are, have democratic uh, leadership. So it's not. It's not ruled by war or tyranny. Um, that's why the status of asylum is, 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 is invalid. Um, plus, like I said, the, the entire Latino or Hispanic uh, community is not going to vote in one block. And I think that's something the Democrat Party is failing to understand. Uh, like I said, Puerto Ricans are already American citizens. Cuba's got special status up because of the radicalization of the government that is communist. And they have America have a policy towards that, so they get special status. So Mexicans or whatever other countries, they don't get that type of status because their country is not really in, in, in a crisis of war or um, a, ty a tyranny leadership. So it's, 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 these these groups don't really have a focal um, Vulcan uh, agenda towards each other. They don't have a, a claim to each other. Um, they don't look at themselves as part of their own. Um, Hispanic is, is not, it's more of a voting block. It's a multiracial group. A lot of these are mixed with different allegiances. So that's why I'm, I'm telling people you can't rely on a Hispanic or Latino vote because they're not going to vote. A lot of them that tend to get their citizenship actually tend to vote alongside the dominant society as being white. A lot of them don't really claim black. A lot of them rarely claim indigenous. So that's a that's a very um gonna be a small group. Plus like I said, majority of ICE and majority of the border patrol is Hispanics. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you gotta have to look at it in that type of way. Um but yeah it's just uh the vote like I like I said myself and you know if they if they want to pick illegals and, and gay rights, I know this LGBTQ um, rights they talk about rep rep reparation. That's a no go in my eyes. So yeah, if that if that's what's going to happen, then I'm not going to vote. It's, I'm, if I'm not, I have to radicalize my vote. Um, to myself, it's, it's a bit more and said, a check for what? Then my reply is, vote for what? That's just what it is. Um, I'll definitely let you guys go. I'll, I'll get with you guys real soon. All right.